Forex. Stocks. Futures. Trade Miner 5.0 Picks of the Week. Hey Forks Militia, this is Parcival, and we have the trade monitor picks of the week for Forex stocks and futures. And starting off, we got a bullish uh, dollar yen, uh, 12 years with the 83% uh, win rate, October 27th to November 24th. And in stock, we have a bullish Honeywell International, eight years with an 87% win win rate, and that is from October 28th to December the 2nd. And our futures, we have the a bullish S&P 500 Mini, eight eight years, 88% win rate, and. Oh, the probability on this is low, but I'm going with another season, and this one is very low. But I'm going on, it goes in, when we're going into November, November usually, and this is an election year, a, a midterm election year. So I'm going off of that, that this will most likely be a good call. Good pick. Okay, uh, let's see. So the first one is the, the dollar yen. And on the charts, let's go ahead and find that. Quick, quick, quick. Time precious. Ah. Okay, so there we go. And this is already in an uptrend. And so we'll have to see if there's a pullback or, or anything or if we can just take it. That's on the dollar yen. And then bullish Honeywell International Honeywell International. And this is bullish, right? And we'll be taking this after it has its earnings, which I love. That's that's always good. And we're gonna be taking that bullish. Okay. I didn't do. And then we'll do the review after, which is and then a bullish ES mini. Which is here. And here we have this, and this is this is looking short, but we'll see what happens going into November. Once again, I believe it's going to be bullish because of the, because of the election year, and we will see how well that 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 pulls off. Okay, so let's go into the the, the review. And this week is kind of a little, just a little bit off because let's pull that kind of a little bit off because uh, I was at 42 and v for the last couple of weeks I've been um, it's it's been pretty flat. I've been uh, losing a little, gaining a little. And let's see. So, as as far as this goes, uh, let, me, let me move this over. Can I move that? No, I can't. Um, so uh, here it is. Uh, my my last loss was on the pound uh, kiwi and on the Aussie kiwi. Excuse me. They they were both. Um, 
uh, lost trades. As you can see, I was at 36 and then at 34. But I have two positions on here from from gold and from um, the Euro CAD that actually are pretty pretty decent. I mean, ex I, I mean the gold is actually good. So let's see. Let's take a look. On the Euro Swissy, on the Euro Kiwi, we're supposed to go short within the next week. Okay, so that's that's a trade. And on this, the we're supposed to go long next week on United Healthcare, and on the dollar, we're supposed to go long also on the dollar within the next week. Let's see, cat. We should be going long here so we'll see exactly how that sh shapes up going into this next week and I'm going to end it right there and say not just power be power hungry and power to the people um, please like comment and subscribe and uh, leave me any comments or questions that you have for me about trade miner and I will say this is Parcival signing out